Okay, let's go with the iron sights. Shot bright like a diamond. Look at that beautiful sniper. So yeah, lately I've been uh, asked this quite a bit. Uh, why do I always play solo or... You know, what's the difference between playing in solo and playing in a party? And to be honest with you, there's... Uh, there's like two parts when it comes to that question. Like, like there's, there's legitimately two parts. First part being, you know... Some people bash on other people for having clips like in full parties or something like that uh, Because you know, it's easy to spawn trap especially if you're playing domination and stuff like that and uh, that, is, that is basically, you know, the first part of the question I guess and 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 the second part is that for me especially uh, The main reason why I play solo is because I live stream or whenever I try to make a video it's usually easier when I'm playing solo and uh, s since both of those things uh, take most of my time playing most of my time I will play solo uh, eventually once in a while I'll play with one or two friends on my live stream but very rarely just because I feel like a live stream it's it's usually better when you when you play solo so you can uh, talk with the chat more you know it really depends on whoever is in the uh, in the game of course you know if you're playing if let's let let's make an example here okay an example of course, if I was playing with uh, Pomage or, 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 to be honest with you, almost any phase member, uh, you know, I, I bet my stream would love it very much. But, but as a streamer, I'm, I'm really used, really used to just playing solo. And uh, you know, I, I, w one of the things that I really, really got used to over the past years is basically just talking and playing at the same time. I, I know that sometimes, you know, when you want to focus, you want to keep it quiet. Of course, you, you want to try your best. You want to focus. You don't want to get confused, you don't want to get out of the zone, you just want to go in, you just want to get clips, and you just want to own at the game. But for me, when it comes to live streaming, that's that's not really the, uh, that's, not, that's not really the main point I've noticed. Um, yes, if you're having a spectacular day, uh, in terms of uh, clips, you know, maybe getting clips like every two games or, or something crazy like that, you may get more viewers, but in the long run, Talking with your chat and and uh, just honestly, you know, you know, keeping contact with uh, whoever is watching live stream, it's gonna be more beneficial to your live stream. So uh, I guess that's a live stream tip. I don't even know how we got there when the main question was solo versus six man parties. I honestly don't know. For me, it's it's whatever. I can understand both sides. Honestly, you know, I play mostly solo, so you know, I can understand that side very easily. Playing in a full party is just honestly. You know, playing with your friends, just being in a, in a party chat, everyone is playing together, everyone in the same game, just having some fun, you know, annihilating the enemy team. I honestly don't see anything wrong with it. Am I the only one who thinks this? Okay, okay, keep in mind that I know that this does not at all affect your gameplay, but I do think it might affect your luck. Now, is luck real or not? I don't know, that's way too much of a philosophical question to answer right now. But hey, this is this is my question. Do you feel like the camo you use affects your luck or the way you play? Or just overall, you know, the way you feel about the game? For me, it's, it's a complete yes. Oh, it's a complete yes. Right now, as you can see, I'm using one of the shittiest camos in the game and and there's a reason why nobody gets clips with it really honestly there's no other reason right now for me to be using this camo but uh for me camos have like hmm how do i say this feelings attached to it right for example for me the ballista no camo has the uh first quad headshot feed ever that i've ever got sorry uh, i had to take a break there and uh yeah as i was saying I feel like camos are connected to certain clips or, or, or just certain stuff. As I was saying, you know, the no camo on the Ballista, for me it was my first ever quad headshot feed that I've ever got. Um, let me think, the Art of War was my first ever Switch quad headshot feed. Mm, funny enough, I got my Switch before I even got my first ever quad headshot feed. I, I, I know it's 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 weird. I don't know why that happened or how that happened, but uh, everything was basically on Black Ops 2. Um, the gold camo on the XPR, the single triple on um, on the Thingamajig on grind, obviously, 
D O O. I remember. Oh, this one is a good one. D carbon fiber on the ballista. This was like one week where I only used carbon fiber on the ballista. And on that week, I believe I got like three five ons and like two quad headshot feeds. It was basically one of my best weeks ever on Black Ops 2. Therefore, you know, the carbon camo on the ballista is god mode. It's just, it's just god mode. Oh my god, what did that guy get? Was that triple? Oh my god, no, he got single all pro. Jesus Christ, dude, don't give me a fucking heart attack like that, sir. Oh my god.